Right, one of the key things not to forget when you are um, buying a property is the stamp duty uh, land tax. Um, it's a hefty amount of money, uh, heftier for a property developer um, because we get to pay the 3% uh, premium uh, over and above everybody else. Uh, I think it's designed that it gives an advantage to the uh, owner occupiers rather than the developers. Uh, but it's a painful amount of tax to pay. In some ways, it's a tax on the seller because if I've got to pay 20 grand in tax to buy it, my bid for the property is 20 grand lower. That does mean that, I mean, exactly as it says on the tin, sort of exactly as I just said, that if the only occupier comes in and they only have to pay a few thousand pound in tax, they've got a distinct advantage over me to buy the property, in which case they're probably gonna buy it anyway because I need a profit, they don't need a profit. They're paying less tax, I'm paying more tax. So uh, it just makes it a lot more difficult for the property investor to, to invest, uh, which kind of goes against what the government wants. You know, that we, my business is taking derelict properties and making them livable, and then they make it difficult for me to do that. But so I think I've moaned about that before. The best way to work out stamp duty is just use a stamp duty calculator. I use the Knight Frank one. I'll put a link uh, below to that. You just put in how much it's going to cost. You're a property investor, not a property investor, first time buyer, not a first time buyer. And it tells you exactly what it is. Uh, but it's a, it's a big chunk to your budget, so it's not something to forget. Well, I hope that was useful. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you on the next one.